Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we will see that how to flatten a linked list. So we have linked list. This is my uh, this is my one node, right? And this this node have the all child nodes. So we can say like this is node. Then these are the next node. Then this is next node. Then this is next node. And again the right node. So again this has some list. Again this has some list. Again this has some list. And all list are in sorted mode. Right, so if you can see this 25, 20, 22, 25, 65, 70 are in sorting order. This is sorting order. This is sorting order. This is not necessarily to be in sorting order. So this can be in any order, right? So like this is not in sorting order. So we need to make list. We need to make linear list such that the all the list are in sorted order. So if you say the what should be the uh, what should the output of this? The output should be 7 then we have 12 minimum then we have uh, then 7 then 10 then 12 then 15 then 17 and 18 so it should be in arranging order or in increasing order all right so you go to the question we have linked list and each link and each node can have or not have another linked list and linked list should be always in sorted list and we need to make this linked list linear list such that all list are and the list are linear and sorted right so that is our question so let's see how to do that so our first aim is uh, to make that link list right so what we have done we have uh, we have make two pointer one is next and one is right right so we are saying the next pointer is this one right so you can say like child pointer is next one so we are terming is as next like the next of 20 is 22 then 25 then 65 and this then we have the uh, right node so right node means this one so the right node so the right node of 20 is 7 the 7 the right node of 7 is 10 the right node of 10 is 32 right so at the first position we have we have created the root right so this is our uh, root node this is our root node and this is we are inserting 20 then 22 25 65 and 70 right so we have created this one now we'll store in the node dot right so when we will point node dot right and then this one then it will automatically create the uh, the whole node of 7 12 23 and 34 right so when we'll give root dot right equals to a dot insert root dot right so it will create 7 12 23 34 then it will create 10 15 17 18 21 and 30 33 and similarly will create node node dot right 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 and then similarly will create 32 39 and 40 right so this is how we'll create our link list now we have created link list so what should be the logic of this so the logic should be so first what we'll do we'll pass the node and will check until node dot right is null right so like this one uh, will pass this one then again the right is there so again the right is there again the right is there but the right of this one is null right so right of this one is null so when we reach when we reach at the end such that we have the two list to compare right so we'll apply the logic of merge here right so what we will do assume this problem as that we have two link list so we have this link list and we have this link list and both link list are in sorted manner so then we need to apply the logic of merge so for we'll check that if 10 and 32 is greater than or not then first 10 will come then 15 will come then 17 will come then 18 21 and then 32 will come right so the question has been changed to uh, merge merge to sorted list right so again if you want to see more about merge sorted list then you can see my previous video but you have got the point right so we are sorting first we are sorting this list then then this link becomes sorted then we will match this one to this one so recursively so recursively it will match the list so now it will change to the sorted list so at the end we have two sorted link list then we will match them and this will become one sorted list where we will have only the next node and this will be the sorted list right so this is how we will solve our problem 
and let's see now that how we'll do it through code so let's put a debug point here and let's see that how it runs so uh, just now go again then let me show you about the so first we are saying first we are inserting the list so now we are checking that if node equals to null so at the starting because it is null right so it will show null so first we will uh, make the node so we will say return get new node so here we are making node so where we have the three nodes right so uh, we have created the we have created a class node so in java we create the objects right so we have created an object as in class and where we have the three points one we have the right right which we are showing so this is the this one will just show right right and this is next and this is the value right so we need to create the three point one is right one is next which are the node variables and one is data which is integer right and when we are starting when we are starting linked equal to new linked then we are saying root equals to null so root as a starting as null right so go here so here we are creating a new node and we are putting the default value as null null and key so key we have inserted from the starting and again if you want to see more about the inserting and creating the linked list then you can see my the first video of linked list where i have explained how to create a linked list so now go here so it will give me the new node so if you see here that it has given me the new node where we have the first node so where next and right is null right and after that if you keep on doing this so i have created my first node so if you see the right is null and the next is 22 the next is 25 the next is 65 right now i'm passing root dot right and a dot insert root dot right so when i will pass this then it will uh, that in, it will initialize the values in the right node so it will insert the values so if you see this the root so root we have 20 that will always be our root node then in right we have 7 then the next of uh, the next of 7 is 12 the next of uh, 12 is 23 right so we have created such like this now again if we give a root of right dot right then if we give this so it will create the linked list of this one right so let me just f6 this and so now we have created the linked list and now go to the flatten so as we have explained uh, like in flatten we'll check until node dot right is null right so where we have so when we'll reach at that point then we'll merge so it is checking that it is not null and now it is null so we have reached so if you go in the function so you can see what is uh, node and okay go here so node is 10 and node of right is so node is 10 and node of right is 32 so then we'll pass this function to merge so if you see the first node is 10 and second list is 32 so now we'll sort this linked list so we have taken the uh, temporary node which we'll use so again if you want to see more about this then you can go in our um, how to merge sorted list but we'll explain it again so we are checking until both list are null and one by one we are will we are checking the elements of the list so first we are checking with the first dot data then we are taking second dot data and we are keep on checking them and the whichever value is lower so we put that link into the temp link right so we say temp dot next is first first means because if first is lower then it will put temp dot next is first if second one is lower then we'll put temp dot second is null right and whenever and whenever we uh, we put the link of that node into the temp then we jump that value by one position because if we have inserted the value then we should ideally put the next right so like in this case if 10 is lower so we'll put our pointer to this one right but like but when we'll match this one if this one is lower then we'll put this point to this one so whichever value is lower we'll put the next so that that is what we are doing in our code right so it will check until until any value is null so it is checking it is inserting and whenever the value is null whichever the list list is null after that we simply put that after that we simply put the temp dot next so we check if first link list is null then just put the next of second and then we return the final list dot next okay 
and now now we'll f6 it so we want to go in the function and this is flatter linked list so if you uh, if you see this this has become the complete linked list where we we have only the next node not the right node and we have we have make the single linked list and now print the linked list so do it f6 and if you see this so the list has become 7 10 12 15 17 so it's complete sorted list right so this is how we have covered that how to sort an a flattened sorted list and uh, so that's it for this tutorial so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you